Let me also put some numbers on the table in two areas that are absolutely critical, public safety and education. Yesterday afternoon, we released our 2014 crime statistics. We compared our numbers today to 2011 when Police Chief James Rovella and I started to work together with laser focus on reducing violent crimes. And the results are clear. Serious crime is declining in Hartford and it continues to decrease. Our homicides have gone down 17% since last year and 30% since 2011. Violent crime in our downtown particularly is extremely rare. Since 2011, there have been three homicides in downtown, one of them taking place at a juice bar that is now closed. When you examine all the factors that contribute to gun violence or serious violence, they tell the story of a complex issue that requires a comprehensive approach. And it requires involvement from various community stakeholders in order to create change. I think that as mayor, my strategy to keep down, uh, crime down is simple. Number one, make sure that our young people have opportunities that are increased through youth employment, through year-round activities, job training, because all this contributes to increase economic development, and the more increased economic developments, the more jobs, the more opportunities, the less need to engage in criminal behavior. Two, partner up with organizations, the state, community leaders, businesses, the corporate community, anyone who is invested in our mission and our philosophy. And three, make sure that our police force has the resources that they need to engage in preventative police work, community policing, the PAL program, and the ability to hire more officers. As we move forward, that will remain my focus. I want to continue for us to work together to keep our families safe, keep our children safe, our businesses thriving, and our city on a positive trajectory. We're approaching another budget season. And as you know, unlike the federal government, we're obligated to pass a balanced budget every year. My priority will be public safety, as it has always been. This will allow us to build on our progress and ensure that all hands are on deck in keeping our residents and businesses safe. Lastly, I want to update you on public schools. We all know that good schools are an anchor for economic development and for financial stability. Through the years in our city, I've talked with many families who wanted to stay in Hartford but felt that they weren't comfortable with the performance of our school system. That is changing. Last year, we recruited a new superintendent, and I honestly can say uh, that Beth Shevano Narvaez has hit the ground running, working positively to continue the momentum of our schools. Since day one, her approach has been to listen, to learn, to exercise leadership, and to lead with compassion. I have truly been impressed. She is the right person at the right place at the right time, and she has something to build on. High school's graduation rates, which seven years ago stood at a low 29%, has completely reversed itself and hit a landmark high, a landmark high of 71.2% in 2013, according to the State Department of Education. That represents a steady climb of more than 43 percentage points since 2006. When Harvard Public Schools launched an ambitious effort to reform its educational system and also began calculating its graduation rate based on a four-year cohort. For Hartford Public Schools, that means that out of every 10 students who enrolled in high school as a freshman in 2009, more than seven of them graduated. Make no mistake, the improvement of our schools and the increased safety of our city in concert have contributed to the significant investment in our city. Public education, public safety, higher education, jobs, housing, economic development, arts, culture, entertainment, restaurants. When we say Hartford has it, we mean it. We are a great capital city, and we're becoming even greater with each passing day.